Hi everyone, I'm Britt Marino and joining us on CBS Denver and CBS4 is Dr. <coughs> Phil McGraw. Everybody knows you as Dr. Phil. How are you today? <coughs> I'm well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. You know, I want to talk about today's show. And, and before I go into it, I just want to let you know, adoption is close to our hearts here at CBS4 in Denver. Every week we showcase a child in foster care who is hoping to get adopted. And so this is really um, kind of a stunning discovery, I think, that we'll get today on your show. We're talking <clears throat> about three adult children who are confronting their biological father who, what is this, uh, has sold them for adoption? Can you tell us about this? Yes, first let me say God bless you all for what you're doing in, in focusing on these foster children. And uh, adoption is a great and wonderful thing to do. In this case, uh, we're dealing with a father, Frankie, married to Karen, and they had 10 children. And they didn't adopt these children uh, legitimately. They didn't place them up for adoption legitimately. They sold these children. This was just simply human trafficking. And I have three of the children that were sold for what they say was three to $5,000, Sandy, Ava, and Dalton, that are here to confront Frankie. Now, the mother was, was arrested and prosecuted by the FBI, but these children believe that Frankie the father, the biological father, was the mastermind behind this whole thing. Here's what they would do, Britt. They would have this child on the way and promise it to multiple families at one time mm. and take living expenses and other monies, comfort services from these families, maybe four, five, or six at one time, and then give the child to none of those families and sell it to someone else. Mm. So heartbreak among all of these families that believe they're going to get this child and then get let down that they don't get the child and they're out the money because the child gets sold to someone else. And they believe that the father is the mastermind behind this whole thing, despite the fact that he was never prosecuted because he never let them hand him the actual money. He made them hand the money to the wife. And the wife took the fall and went to jail for it. Mm -hmm. And these children are livid that he is denying this, says he never knew what was happening. She would disappear at seven or eight months pregnant and come back with no baby and a lot of money, but he just never caught on after 10 times. He just never seemed to catch on. This is gut-wrenching. I mean, at the expense of these children who are now adults, I, I cannot even <clears throat> imagine what they've been through, what those families have gone through. You know, what is the father saying to all these accusations? Well, he's denying that he knew anything. He's saying, I, you know, she would go away. We would, I would think we were broken up. I, I didn't know. A couple of times I thought the child was adopted, but I was told I didn't have any rights. I mean, it's just completely ludicrous. And in fact, Ava, one of these adult children, and, and these, these three found each other, um, one of the adult children says, you know what? Let's just do a polygraph here. Let's work out some questions and find out what you knew and when you knew it. And that's what part two of this story is all about. Uh, what will the questions be? Will he take the polygraph? What will be confirmed and what will not? And that is a very telling drama, and that's in part two. And, you know, I focused on this so much, Britt, because as you guys know, because of what you're doing uh, there at, at your station, there are 135,000 children adopted every year, and there are 437,000 children in foster care. So that means two-thirds are not getting adopted. I don't want to discourage anyone from adoption. In fact, I want to encourage adoption, but I want people to do it with legitimate agencies with their eyes wide open. Sometimes we get so emotional we ignore red flags because we want something to be true so badly that we set ourselves up to be scammed, to be taken advantage of. And that's what I want to avoid here. Do this the right way and you can have a wonderful, wonderful experience and a child can have a wonderful home. Thank you for shedding light on this dark topic, Dr. Phil. And everybody, you can watch Dr. Phil weekdays at 4 o'clock right here on CBS4.